We're talking about a motion to vacate. First of all, what the heck is it? And second of all, how do we use that to clean up or remove tickets from your driving record? Let's dive into it. Hi, I'm attorney Derek Martin with Driver Defense Team. Our office uh, fixes or removes traffic tickets from people's records all the time. And the tool that we use to do that is called a motion to vacate. So first of all, what does that really mean? Well, motion means uh, essentially a request. We're putting it into court and making a request. And that request is that we remove or vacate a ticket uh, or the outcome to a ticket. And so we file that in court and then we have a scheduled court date and um, we resolve the ticket in a different way, right? This ticket is on your record because uh, typically in one of two scenarios, either you got pulled over by an officer that gave you this ticket and then you just forgot about it. You lost it, you didn't respond in time, you missed court, you, you know, whatever. You didn't do anything. And so in court, they found you guilty by default and they entered that judgment against you, that conviction went on your record, and they may have also reported to the Secretary of State that you were required to appear in court and you didn't. And so now those things go on your driving record, the Secretary of State sees that or gets that on your record, and they suspend your license. So now you, either you have a suspension uh, upcoming or maybe you're even suspended right now, your options are you can either sit out that suspension but the way better option is to go back into court and fix the thing that's causing the suspension in the first place. That has immediate benefits of undoing the suspension, but it also has long-term benefits of cleaning up your record. The other reason that people uh, would maybe want to do a, a motion to vacate is because they maybe somehow screwed it up, right? They um, did go to court. Maybe they got court supervision, but then they failed to do the traffic school or they failed to pay the fine in time. Well, that uh, supervision then got changed to a conviction and now that conviction is on your record. Maybe it's suspending you, maybe it's not, but we can oftentimes go back and fix that. Third and, and oftentimes final reason is because you made a choice that you're not happy with, right? Um, if you get a traffic ticket, oftentimes the officer may tell you or suggest to you that you can just go pay this ticket. Maybe do the traffic school, maybe you don't, but just go pay this ticket. Well, you find out that now this traffic ticket has maybe hit your record and that's causing a problem and you don't want that. Well, we never had our day in court, so uh, oftentimes, depending on the exact timeline and circumstances, we may be able to go file a motion to vacate in court and reopen the case. In any of those scenarios, we reopen the case and we resolve it the right way, right? We know what will re-hit your record and what won't, what's going to suspend you and what won't, what's going to cause your insurance rates to increase, what won't, what will affect your commercial driver's license and what won't. So we handle that case and resolve it in the right way after it's been reopened. We get proof of that documentation of the new better outcome. We submit that to the Secretary of State and the Secretary of State updates your record. Uh, in many scenarios, if, if you were suspended because of that and now we fixed the ticket, well, you're no longer suspended. That suspension is removed. So that is the major benefit of a motion to vacate. It's a tool and, and that we use in order to clean up the record, to undo a suspension, you know, prevent in insurance rates from increasing if, if that's already hit your record, and maybe just even cleaning up your record just because you want it cleaned up. Maybe it's an employer-based reason, like you have a commercial driver's license. There may be many, but I hope now that you understand how important of a tool this is. It is a process that you may want to consider hiring a lawyer for. Um, it gets quick, done quicker and easier and probably with a better outcome uh, with a lawyer. So if you want to talk about your record with us, the best thing to do is get your record. You can get it from the DMV. You get your Illinois Secretary of State driving abstract, or uh, you could pay us to get it for you. But once we have that record, we can look at each individual ticket, tell you what may be able to be fixed and what may not, and, and go from there. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, let us know if you'd like to consult with us about cleaning up your driving record. Thanks.